Hello everyone, this is James from 3D Printing Reviews again. Uh, and today I'm going to bring you a, a different sort of video than normal. Um, it's going to be a tutorial slash how-to video. Uh, and as you probably would have guessed from the title of the video, it's to get um, STL thumbnails in uh, Windows Explorer. So why would you want to do this, you ask? Well, basically, if you download multiple um models from say tinkercad which is a program i use quite often now uh, if you select individual models within the same workspace they all get the same file name uh but they just have a a one two three four etc added to the file name uh, so that can be very difficult to know when you come back to it later which file it is you actually want to print so yeah, so I'm going to demonstrate to you how to basically get thumbnail previews of your STL files. So if we have a look at this folder I've set up here, uh, you can see, for example, here I've got three file names the same, just with the, the added one or two, and the same here. Now, I don't know which one of those is uh, the one I want. Now, I could just open the file up in Simplify, D, Simplify 3D. But it would be so much easier if we had a thumbnail. So if we just close that, and then this is the software that I've found through various web searches and forums that we want. It's called K Studio Demo, uh, and I'll have a link to somewhere you can download this file uh, in the description. So if we just uh, unzip this file, and we'll just unzip it to the desktop. <laughs> There we go. So this is basically the file, the one file we get. Um, now I don't actually know what this software does. I've never used the software itself. Just the ability to um, allow us to preview STL files. So let's install this um, application. Uh, and you've basically, I mean, if you could read that if you want, uh, it's just going to tell you where it's going to install it. The components is going to install, etc. Um, so yeah, we just click next, 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 basically, um, and then I don't know if you're about to see that, but I've just got to yeah, allow the file to make changes to my computer, um, and that is basically it. Don't even have to launch the software. Finish, close that, and as you can already see we now have previews of our STL files. How, you know, simple as that. I can now see, oh right, that was the one that I wanted. It wasn't that one. I can begin printing the exact file that I want. So yeah, that's just a very quick uh, tutorial video for you today. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it's been helpful. Um, so yeah, oh, I just wanted to actually remind everyone that we're still running the 100 subscriber giveaway uh, there'll be a link in the description for the gleam link which is uh, where i'm hosting the giveaway so you can win either a, a sample pack of filaments from global fsd or their us site or a 3d print uh, done by me if you haven't got a printer so yeah check out that link in the description enter the giveaway uh, i think there's probably about I don't know, 20 days left, something like that, 19, 20 days. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget to enter if you'd like to. Um, thanks for watching, uh, and until next time, keep on printing.